I wish every ChatGPT user watches this video. Understanding the next few minutes will help you save tons of time and opens your mind to a new way in using ChatGPT that helps you get mind-blowing results. Please try to focus just for two minutes. This video has no ads. I'm not selling you any courses here. It is just about learning something that will really help you automate tasks, save a lot of time in your business, in your work, in your life anywhere so i think the best way to explain the concept today is with a simple practical example let's assume you are a youtuber the youtube production workflow is as follows first we need a topic then we need to pick a title for the video then a thumbnail then a script then record publish and promote for now, forget about recording and editing. It's somehow an advanced concept when it comes to AI. Let's focus on titles, thumbnails, scripting, and publishing and promoting the video. Usually, these steps takes around 10 hours for an average YouTuber, depending on the content, on the creation workflow, and so on. For me, it takes like five to 10 hours to finish these four or five steps. Maybe you can tell me now, okay, we have ChatGPT, you can go there, ask it for ideas, titles, thumbnails, maybe ask it to write a script for you, use some prompts, use prompt engineering that we learned before, and so on. Maybe use promoter kit, free YouTube AI tools to generate titles and ideas and so on. That's fine. But this is not the best approach. Today, you want to be more productive. You want to save more time and you want to get better results. Instead of 10 hours, I want to finish this in less than one hour and get the best results I can. In this YouTube workflow, we are talking about four or five tasks only. Maybe in some scenarios, we have 20 tasks. Maybe in some advanced cases, we have 50 tasks. If you want to ask ChatGPT for each task and chat to get the best results, it will take a lot of time. We want something more powerful, automated, and can do the job in one click. So what is the other approach? What I have for you today? Look at this. I will run this simple script. I will enter a video topic, let's say YouTube SEO. Then enter the video duration. I want an eight minute video and then hit enter. Look at this. We have title ideas, we have thumbnail ideas, we have a script, and even it created a Twitter thread to promote your video on Twitter. All this in less than 30 seconds. Cool, huh? What's the idea here? Please focus for one more minute. Even if you're not a programmer, even if you don't know what's here in this code, don't understand anything, just focus and get the idea. It's only one minute, bear with me please. I will give you the script ready for you, the tutorials, how to set up everything step by step in a little bit. But just focus for one minute now to understand the idea behind this so you can customize if you want based on your own scenario, on your own workflow. So what I'm doing here is I create a simple script, very basic script in Python that tells the user to enter a topic and a video duration in minutes. Then I created four prompts. If you go to the prompts script, you will see I have this prompt that will generate YouTube titles, this one that will generate thumbnail ideas, this one will generate scripts, and this one will generate a Twitter thread or tweet from YouTube. And we can see here we have dynamic inputs. You can see here these values so you can customize these prompts based on your own needs. Let's say you are a blogger, you can change these prompts to create a blog, titles, then the, then the blog itself, and promote the blog, and so on. Let's go back to the script. So the first thing I'm doing is creating 10 catchy title ideas. Look at this, look at the idea here. The output will be these titles. Then I will pass those titles or these titles to the second prompt. So we are doing something called a chaining, chaining the prompts. So the titles is a parameter inside the second function. Then we create a script and we pass the user minutes and the topic. And when we create the tweet, we are passing the script generated. 
Again, chain the script inside the last prompt. It's like a chain of prompts connected together, working together. I hope you got the idea. It's very important. This will help you save a lot of time in any workflow to automate it. Did you hear about AutoGPT or LangChain maybe, the open source library? It's almost the same concept, but in this example, I made it as simple as possible and it's open source. It's simple so anyone can understand the topic and customize based on your own needs. If you want me to create videos about LangChain and AutoGPT, let me know in the comment section below. Now to make things simple for you, I created a step-by-step -step guide with the script, with everything, all details. And I showed you how to customize the script based on your own scenario. Maybe you are a blogger, maybe you are a marketer, a teacher, whatever you are. I showed you examples how to customize the script for different cases. You'll find the link in the description below. And please, if you missed my free Python programming course and how to integrate with ChatGPT to get mind-blowing results, please go now and watch the free course. No ads, nothing, just watch and learn these skills today. Invest in yourself. It is the best investment you will ever do. I hope you enjoyed this video, you got some benefit. If you have any questions, I'll be waiting for you in the comments section below. Smash the like button and see you soon.